With the removal of street vendors in Lusaka Central Business District CBD, a reduction in indiscriminate disposal of waste has been noted. However, some shop owners have continued to dispose their waste on islands and drainages, a concern that has been raised by the Lusaka Integrated Solid Waste Management Company and has called on shop owners to subscribe to solid waste companies. People are not subscribing. We encourage residents of uh, Lusaka to subscribe to solid, not illegal ones, but legal solid waste service providers in their communities. Even in CBD, we have the same issue where you find that uh, other people are throwing uh, papers, not only papers, but boxes, which shows that these are coming from shops. These people are supposed to subscribe to legal solid waste providers. This came to light during a cleanup exercise in the CBD. Church mother bodies have come on board to supplement government's efforts. It's also to send a strong message that we need a, a, a mindset change in the country. Cleaning must not be something that is done just because we are threatened by cholera. It should be a daily routine. We must clean the surrounding. And national guidance for religious affairs under the office of the vice president has partnered in the cleanup activities. The fight against cholera should not just be a one-off activity when we have cholera, but it is an ongoing activity. You can see we are happy that the numbers of cholera cases has gone down. So even when the numbers have gone down, this is not time to put our guns down, but we should continue cleaning so that it becomes a lifestyle. Fortune Melita, ZNBC News, Lusaka.